Have you ever wanted to use conditional logic or even calculated logic within your elemental form and you're struggling a little bit? There are add-ons and other plugins you can use, but I want to talk to you about Forminator and show you how we created this concrete calculator. Look, it's pretty simple here. You add in, I'm going to go with like uh, 10 meters and I'm going to go with say 100 centimeters and I'm going to go with 10 meters again. And it then calculates that I need 100 meters cubes in terms of concrete. This is all doing calculations for us. Now, this hasn't got a form built in. There's no submit button. It doesn't send any details, but that's because I removed that. But we could easily have had name, address, phone number, email address, whatever, hit send and it would send all those details off to someone. We've just done a basic concrete calculator and we did that using this plugin, Forminator. If you haven't come across it, you should do. It is a brilliant beast of a plugin. It's built for WordPress, but it works really well in Elementor because you're just adding in a short code, but it is super, super good. And if I ever have to do a like a calculated logic or conditional logic or something like that, this is where I will go. Let me show you how we built it. So if I go over here, when you've installed Forminator, it is free by the way, okay, please remember that. I'm gonna go over to my dashboard. And this is where you normally would have says, right, we are now gonna create a new one. Now I'm not gonna go back through this from scratch because we've already built it. But if I show you the steps we did, you, it should start to sink into your brain and you'll know what to do as well. So normally you would hit create and you create a new form. I'm just gonna go into this one and edit what we've already done just so you can see some of the features and I'll explain what I removed or added so that we could have a form without like the submit button and the name and address and all of that. When you go to edit or add new, here's the form, right? Basically, you know, you insert your fields, right? This is basic stuff, right? You might want to add a name, an email, a phone, checkbox, select box, calculations. Well, we'll come on to calculations, date picker, file upload. But look at this. Ooh, PayPal and Stripe. Hmm. What this basically means is that if you've got someone who is only selling, say, uh, five or six items um, in their website and they don't want to use um, WooCommerce, you could create a form where you have the item, right? You have like a quantity field for how many, quant how much, how many of that item you want. It then calculates the price. And then there's a button that says pay now via, via PayPal. And they could literally pay via PayPal without you going through the whole WooCommerce route. You could literally have a one page all in one shop solution. Does this make sense what I'm saying? There's no cart page, there's no checkout page. It's all there in one page. The only checkout obviously would be when they go through PayPal, but hey, we're not here to just go on about Forminator. But there are lots of options here, okay? This is super, super good in what it does, right? I mean, let's just add in the name field, right? And we'll add in an email field in as well, and let's insert them. They are currently going to be at the bottom down here. I could pick this field up and stick it to the top. I could even go down here and add it to the beginning, maybe, or even at the end. Like so, let me pick up email and add email as well. Whoops a daisy. Like that as well. You can have a maximum of three fields in a row, so you can start to tinker with how this is gonna look. I'm just gonna get rid of um, the uh, email field, and I'm gonna get rid of the name field as well like that, okay? Now, each of these fields, anything you add, you can modify. So this field over here, which is length, was a number field. You know that, because it says the word number there. If I click it, I changed the label to be length, and I said the default value is one. And that's literally it. I just put in a one. But then I did something a step further. Now this field down here, which is width, is basically the same field as above. All I've done is set it to be width. There are things like settings where you say, is this optional, is it required, things like that. Now I haven't set any calculations here. This is just basic, basic fields now. Just like if you add in a name, you might change the label, first name, middle name, last name, or full name. And then we have depth, again, basic field. No calculations, just the name. Over here, I then added in a select field. Remember, we've got select over here, look. It's right there, we have select, okay? The select field, I named it length metric, okay? And then down here, I put in my options. I could add in another option. I could go for a kilometer, maybe. Actually, we'll do it like that. I could add in kilometer. I'm not going to, but I could add in lots of um, additional fields. Now, 
there is no need for you to do this if you don't want to have a select field or a checkbox. But if you're creating a calculator where you're giving people the option to pick a different variable, could be an item, could be red, black, blue, whatever, things like that. Think, think like out the box with this, okay? We then go over to the settings and um, there's nothing, sorry, it's not settings. Don't know why I went settings. It's calculations. And this is where I'm now adding in some logic. So I've got some conditional logic where you get to pick from a drop down. But I've got calculated logic. So I'm saying if you put a millimeter value in, right, I want you to multiply that by 0.01. Why have I gone for that? And I don't want you to get hung up on this, okay? Because this calculator works out in meter cubes. So if you have one, like if you pick meter, that is one, that's a one-to-one -one relationship. If you go for centimeters, you divide by 100. If you want to go millimeters, you divide by 1,000. Just think mathematically. You probably won't need to do this. However, if you were to say that, well, if someone picks, say, gold for a color, that's like double the price of what a standard item would cost. You could put in here then, this would automatically say gold, and then you would put in number two. And then for standard, you would just have one. Does that make sense? So we're saying, depending on what you pick, I will multiply your value by another figure. This is all really simple. Styling, nothing, visibility, nothing. But this was the key field. In fact, it was the labels where we added in the drop down options. And then the calculations. Is that making sense, right? And then we just repeated that for the width and the depth. Literally, that was it. So again, look, let's go to depth. You got your uh, drop downs down here. And then we go to the calculations, it's the same calculations. Just, you know, basic logic. Now, here's the clever bit. We added in a calculation field. Remember, we do have that. Look, there it is, calculations. Let's click this. I call it calculated quantity. The settings are that, uh, you know, here's where I just set the formatting in terms of decimal placings. In fact, we're going to have, I remember now, we, need to, we do need to round it up to two, by the way. Um, if we go back in over here, this is where we did the calculation. And this is now, this, is, this might look difficult, but it's not difficult at all. Okay, let me just, I'm just going to copy this so I don't lose it. But let me show you another way you, you could have done it. Okay, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start to type in, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to the add form fields. So it will write the code for you, but if you forgot what you're doing, I'm going to go length and it tells me it's number one. And then I'm going to say multiplied by the length metric. So the length multiplied the length metric. The length metric is determined by if you are millimeter, centimeter or meter. And it applies that calculation. So, num so the length might be 20. But if you put in millimeters, select one then says, right, now I will multiply you by 0.001 or 0.001 or whatever like that, okay? It then applies that. Now, let me put the formula fully back in. It's telling me length multiplied by length metric, and I've put them in brackets as well, multiplied by width, width metric, blah, 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 okay? That is literally it. That is how wonderfully amazing this, like, uh, calculated conditional logic is. It is super, super good. When we come to appearance, this is where I decided on what kind of style I was going to go for in terms of the look of it. You can modify it. Um, I even down here modified the colors we were going to use. So if I go down to um, like what's the color scheme I'm using, you know, uh, you know, basically how are you showing it? I have to say, I wish it was a little bit more intuitive in how it does, because sometimes you have to change it and you have to click the preview button here and it loads up the preview so you can see it. So don't forget, you do have a preview option that you can keep checking as you go along the way. So in the ad behavior, here's where you could add in a message. So normally the message you'd get here is this form has been submitted successfully. Thank you for contacting us. I deleted that because I don't want them when they're doing the calculator to get a message that says anything really. This is just to inform them, here's what you need. Um, I hope that makes sense. Email notification, there are none because again, I don't want to have a submit button present on here at all. So if you want to, you could click over here. You could add one, two, three, four, five, six different emails and it will hopefully go to them. I say hopefully, always check your emails go. 
We're not integrating anywhere else. And in terms of settings, well, we're not storing anything. So we have a really cool concrete calculator without having to use any extra plugin except Forminator. But this now is built in such a way that you could reuse this. You could build as many forms as you want to satisfy your needs. I could have had name, email, address, postcode, contact number, whatever, and a send button. We could have done that. But we didn't want to do that for this particular client because this is what they were after. Hey, look, Forminator is basically free. It's really simple and easy to use. Play around with it. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll keep seeing you.